Hi, this is Stacy Richline here, and I'm going to go over a safe prenatal sequence today. Um, that being said, this is going to be just you know a normal yoga class that anybody can do and anybody can join. But I'm going to be giving some specific um, things that are going to feel really good for someone if they're pregnant, and most importantly, are going to be safe. Right before we start, um, I just want to have a brief disclaimer. Um, I am not pregnant and I've never been pregnant. So everything I teach today is just going to be based off of what I've learned. Um, I've taken workshops, done some research. I've had um, pregnant yogis and you know talked to some people who've gone through pregnancy um, to put together this class for you today. Um, but it's always good to just kind of listen to your body, do what feels right and what feels best for you. So if something doesn't feel good, you know, just kind of skip it. No big deal. Um, so ultimately, that's most important. And some things are, are going to be some things specifically that you should avoid in yoga or just kind of any exercise when you're pregnant. I'm going to go over those. Um, one is going to be um, deep closed twists or deep forward folding. All right. And we'll give some alternatives uh, for those type of stretch stretches. Um, you also want to avoid deep back bending. So a little bit of back bending is okay, but nothing too deep. Um, you want to avoid lying on your belly and any like big inversions. Um, you might not want to spend too much time on your back. So yoga class usually ends with the Shavasana while we're lying on our back. So today we're going to go over kind of an alternative to the traditional Shavasana. Another thing to keep in mind is maybe just keep kind of like a wider stance for, you know, stability and balance as we move through the yoga poses. Okay, what you'll need to set up at home. Um, you'll need a yoga mat or just kind of like a soft surface, like a rug or carpet. Um, if you have yoga blocks, that would be awesome. Um, get those out. We'll be using them. If you don't, that's fine. You can substitute um, one or two blankets or towels for a yoga block. You also want to make sure you have a blanket or towel on hand. And, um, you know, if you have a yoga bolster, that can be really nice as well. But if you don't, just uh, grab a firm pillow and we will use that um, for our practice today. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I want you to come to, um, I want you to come to kneeling to start. So I'm going to give you an option. So you can just sit back on your heels if that feels comfortable for you. If that doesn't feel comfortable for you or if you have a block or a blanket, um, we can use this to sit on. So we're just going to take it here and we're going to place our hips, our butt on it, bringing the knees together, elevating our hips, which is going to kind of help us sit up a little bit straighter and might feel really nice for our backs. All right, this being said, if sitting in a kind of a kneeling position doesn't feel good for you, it's no big deal. Just come to sitting cross-legged or really whatever position feels good. This is just kind of an option that I'm offering. All right, so let's get started. I want you to take one hand to your heart and one hand on your belly and maybe start to close your eyes. And we're just gonna do some breathing here. So start to take long, deep inhales through your nose. Long, deep exhales out through your nose. Making your inhales and your exhales about the same length. Noticing the sensation of your breath as it moves through your body. So as you're inhaling, Feel your belly get bigger, your ribs expand, your chest rise. And then as you exhale, just notice it happen in reverse. Your chest drops, your ribs knit together, and your belly empties out. Take a moment 
moment here, feel a sense of gratitude. And maybe take a moment to set an intention for class today. One more deep breath in and deep breath out. All right, you can slowly open up your eyes, just release your hands. So from here, we're gonna um, take our hands behind us, interlace your hands behind your back. I'll just turn so you can see me. Draw the shoulders down and back as you're sitting up nice and straight and you're gonna take that fist over to one side. Now it doesn't matter what side it is, just take it towards that side and you're gonna drop that ear towards that shoulder. So you still wanna stay sitting up nice and straight, just kind of moving the head gently over to that side so that you can feel that nice stretch along the neck and the shoulder on the other side. A few deep breaths here, maybe slightly tilting that chin up. One more deep breath. From here, we'll bring our chin down towards our chest. Take our fist behind our back, bring it over towards the other side, and then bring the other ear over towards the other shoulder. Just allowing gravity to, to do the work. Feeling, just checking in. How your shoulders, your neck are feeling right now. And then you can bring your chin down to your chest, take your hands behind your back, release the hands, and maybe roll your head and neck out once or twice more, just whatever direction feels good. All right, from here, let's inhale to reach our arms out and up. Palms up towards the ceiling, maybe looking up towards your palms, and then exhale, we're gonna squeeze the elbows back, shoulder blades squeeze together in the back, open up your chest, and release. We'll do that again, inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, make your way down, cactus arms opening up the chest. Exhale, come back down again, let's do that again. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, exhale, back down. All right, from here, just take your hands right in front of you, palms together. Just gonna do an easy twist. So from here, open up towards one side. So I'm gonna turn so that I have a little bit more space. Doesn't matter which side you start with. We're just opening up the arms, looking over that shoulder to get a little bit of a neck stretch Then looking behind us. Little bit of a twist is gonna feel good for our back and for our spine. And then come back through to the center and then we'll switch sides. So opposite arm comes out to the side, looking behind you. Staying here for a few breaths. Good, and then come back through to the center. From here, we're gonna open up to those cactus arms again, just like we did before. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna give yourself a big hug. So one arm comes on top of the other, crossing above the elbows, and we're gonna to come to eagle arms. So you're gonna to start to bring those arms together, kind of twisting around, hands will come together. You're gonna to lift the elbows up so that they're in line with the shoulders. So if this doing this little twisting action with your arms um, doesn't, you know, doesn't really work for you, just bring the forearms together here, bringing the elbows up. You'll be surprised at just how challenging that is as well. A few deep breaths here. Shoulders squeeze together in the front. Now remember which arm is on the top, which arm is on the bottom, because we're gonna switch. So inhale, come up, open back up, cactus arm. Exhale, switch. Give yourself a big hug. Opposite arm is on the top this time, crossing above the elbows, coming into the eagle arms, or just forearms come together, 
Lift the elbows up so they're in line with your shoulders. Deep breaths. Good, and then next inhale, open up again. All right, from here we're gonna transition to seated. So you can move your block, just put it to the side or whatever you were sitting on. All right, so we're gonna come to a seat and we're going to place our legs out in, or place one leg out in front of you. It doesn't matter which side, the other foot is gonna come towards your inner thigh. Okay, and we're gonna sit up nice and tall, draw the shoulders back, find length in your spine, and then we're gonna to start to come forward. So we don't wanna come forward too deep, but you wanna just kind of relax the shoulders, relax the head and neck, just come as far as feels comfortable. And just starting to feel that nice stretch underneath the leg, that's how long in the hamstring. Maybe a little bit in the back, the knees. Staying here a few breaths. From here, we're just gonna walk our hands through to the center, so between the foot and the knee. And then maybe come forward a little bit more here. A few more breaths. And then slowly start to walk your hand up. All right, so from here, we're gonna lift that knee that was bent, you're gonna lift it up, and cross it over top of the other knee. So we're gonna do an open twist here. So whatever knees on top, you're gonna open to the, uh, the inside of that knee, so your belly, everything is open. We don't wanna kind of close everything here like we might do in a normal practice. We wanna keep everything open. Looking over that shoulder. So it's gonna be same arm to the same leg that's bent. Good, and then you can come back through to the center. All right, so from here, we're gonna to come to a butterfly pose. So bringing the other foot up. You don't wanna bring your heels in really close to you. You wanna push them away a little bit to allow your hips to stretch out a little bit more. Draw the shoulders back, sit up nice and tall, lengthen through your spine, allow those knees to relax. And then from here, you can slowly start to round, around your back, around your shoulders. Maybe come forward a little bit. If you want to, pressing those feet out a little bit more to just really get comfortable in this pose. Coming back to your breath. So coming back to those long, deep inhales and exhales through your nose. One more deep inhale, complete exhale. And then you can walk your hands back. Just pause as you sit up nice and straight. And we'll take our feet out wide, drop both knees to one side, back through to the center, drop both knees to the other side. Maybe doing that once or twice more. All right, so we're gonna set up for the other side. So take your opposite leg out, other foot towards your inner thigh from what you did before. Sit up nice and straight, lengthen through your spine. And then you can slowly start to walk your hands forward towards that leg that's out long. Just going as far as it feels good. So one other thing to just kind of be cautious about when you're pregnant, this doesn't pertain to everyone, but some people may actually be able to stretch a little bit further than, the, than they could before they were pregnant. And this is because, you know, all the different hormones in your body, one of the hormones released is, is to help you 
make you a little bit more flexible so that you can prepare to have your baby and that your hips can open up and expand. So um, you, you might be fine that you can stretch a little bit further than you could before you were pregnant, but you wanna be careful not to over stretch. If you do find um, that you are able to stretch further, just kind of go maybe about as far as you were able to before you were pregnant. One more deep breath here. And then you can walk your hands back, or we're gonna walk towards the center. So between the foot and the knee, coming forward here a little bit for a few more deep breaths. One more deep breath here. Go ahead and walk your hands back, sit up nice and straight, and we're going to do that open twist. So that knee that was out to the side, you're going to bring it up towards you and cross it over top. And then the knee that's over top, find that same arm, bring it kind of inside to do that kind of open twist looking over your shoulder. And then you can come back through to the center. Go ahead, release, kind of shake out your legs here. And then we're gonna transition to our hands and knees. <coughs> All right, so make your way onto your hands and knees. You wanna stack your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees under your hips, spreading out the fingers. And we're gonna move through cat and cow pose warming up our spine. So on an inhale, you're going to drop your belly down lower, lift your tailbone up, lift your chest up and look up. This is our cow pose. And then on an exhale, you're going to round your lower back, round your upper back, round your shoulders, bring your chin towards your chest, coming into cat pose. Inhale, make your way through back to cow pose. Moving with your own breath. Exhaling to cat pose. Doing this a few more times, however, feels good. One more round of cat cow. All right, so from here, we're gonna set up along the long side of our mat. So you're gonna take one leg out long, the other knee will stay down. All right, so coming up here, the leg that's out long, take that hand by the side, we're gonna reach up with the other arm, and then we're just gonna do a nice side stretch. So stretching up and over to that side, stretching out the obliques, the side muscles, the waist, All right, good. So that hand that's up in the air, go ahead and take it down. You wanna place the hand, the knee, the foot in line, reach that opposite arm up, side plank variation. Lifting up through that core, good. Good, and then we'll just come back down through to the center. We'll set up for the other side. So opposite leg comes out long. Make your way up. The leg that's out long, the hand will come by the side, inhale, reach up nice and long with that arm, and then exhale, up and over. Deep breaths. Noticing how this side feels compared to the other side. One more deep breath. And then we'll inhale, come back up. Take that hand down, so hand, knee, foot in line. Reach that top arm up for side plank variation on the other side. Good, and then we'll make our way back down. 
So from here, we're going to come to a child's pose variation. So you're going to take the knees apart, sit back towards your heels, find your block or your um, blanket. So you can just use the blanket instead of the block, and you're going to place it in front of you. So you want to make sure you have room for your baby. So to give extra space, you're going to place your chest on that block or on the blanket as you come forward. And relax the head, the forehead. Staying here about five deep breaths. Inhale, slowly walk your hands back. And we'll move the blanket or the block over to the side. We're going to make our way into a downward facing dog. So on your hands and your knees, spread out the fingers, tuck your toes in the back, and then you're going to lift your hips up and back. So we're going to find a little movement here. Take your feet a little bit wider, wider than hips distance apart, as wide as feels good. Keep a little bend in the knees. Set those hips up and back. Relax the head, chins towards your chest. Fingers are spread out to protect the wrist. And then if you want, you can walk your dog, bending one knee, straighten the other, dredging up the legs and the calves. Deep breaths. One more deep breath here. We're going to walk our feet forward to our hands to come to a rag doll forward fold. So feet wider than hips distance apart. Keep a nice bend in your knees. You can grab the elbows, maybe sway a little bit side to side. Lift up through the hips. Relax the head and neck, so maybe shake it yes and no, just to make sure it's relaxed. Spread out the toes, grounding through your feet. One or two more deep breaths. All right, good. From here, you can place your hands on your hips and you're going to slowly make your way back up. All right, so we're going to come all the way to standing. From here, I want you to inhale to reach your arms out nice and long. All right, we're going to keep our arms up in an extended mountain pose and we're just going to stretch over to one side. So just stretching at the obliques again. A few deep breaths. And then on your next inhale, back up through to the center, lengthen through to your, your spine. Exhale, come over to the other side. Good. Inhale, back up through to the center. All right, we're going to take our hands to your hip, our hips. <clears throat> take our feet out a little bit wider, so like medium width. And we're going to start to do just some easy trunk rotations. So just coming forward, side back and around. We'll do three in one direction and then we'll do about three in the other direction. One more in this direction. And then when you're ready, you can switch and do about three in the other direction, inhaling. Halfway through your circle, exhaling. The other halfway through the circle, keeping a little bend of the knees for stability and balance. All right, and then when you're done, just come to standing up nice and straight. So we're gonna set up here for a warrior two. So we're gonna take our feet a little bit wider. Take one foot, it doesn't matter which side, face it towards the front of your mat, bend, start to bend at me. The back foot is going to come in about 45 degree angle and kind of check your front heel is about in the middle of that back foot. All right, 
we're gonna reach the arms out long. You can strengthen that front leg and then work towards getting a nice bend in the knee. You want the knee maybe over top of the ankle. Relax the shoulders down, torsos in the middle. So we're not making sure we're not leaning forward. We're still staying relaxed in the middle. Hips square to the side, deep breaths. From here, we're gonna reach forward, bringing our forearm to, forearm to rest on the knee, just above the knee. We're gonna reach that top arm up. So opening up that shoulder, reach up. If you want, you can extend it forward a little bit as well. And then come back through to the center. We're gonna straighten that leg that's that long. You're gonna bring that foot in. We're just gonna to move to the other side. So opposite foot faces the other way. Work towards getting a nice bend in that knee. Arms come out long, hips to the long edge of the mat. Relaxing the shoulders down and back. Arms are straight. Make sure one's not like in front above the other. Deep breaths. Energetically squeeze those inner thighs towards each other. Just make those legs work nice and hard while you're in it. And then we're going to start to come forward, bringing the forearm just above the knee. Top arm reaches up, spinning that hip open, either keeping it here or you can reach forward. Extended side angle pose. Make your way back up through to the center. Both feet are going to face the long edge. Actually, take the feet out a little bit of a diagonal. We'll take our hands to our heart center. We're going to start to bend one knee. So we're going to bend towards one direction. Other leg is straight. Maybe the toe comes up. Just going as far as feels okay. Keeping that chest lifted. Deep breaths. If you want to, you can bring the hands down as an option. But we'll come back through to the center and over to the other side. Bending the other knee, keeping the opposite leg straight. Maybe staying here, keeping your chest lifted. If you want to, if you can go lower, maybe going lower for balance and stability. If you want, you can bring those hands down. So just taking whatever option feels good right now. Side. We'll come back through to the center. Okay, heel toe your feet just a little bit closer together. So like medium hips distance apart. Um, if you're facing the other side of the yoga mat, about the width of the yoga mat, feet out at a diagonal. We'll take our hands, our heart center, we're gonna come to goddess pose. So you're gonna bend the knees. Knees, make sure they're not coming in. You want them to energetically be pressing out as our chest stays lifted, spine is long, lower down. On an inhale, we're going to reach the arms up, straighten the legs, exhale, press down nice and slow. We'll do that a few more times, maybe going a little bit deeper this time. Inhale, reach out, exhale, press down, knees pushing out to the side, a little bit lower again, inhale, exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Pause here, hold it an extra breath or two. All right, we're gonna take our hands to our hips. We're gonna kind of just hinge forward a little bit. And we're just gonna do a little um, stretch. So you're gonna look over one shoulder, a little twist, dip the other shoulder down. And then coming back through to the center, dip that other shoulder in, look over the other side. Good, back through to the center and you can slowly roll up. All right, from here we're gonna find our blanket and we're gonna come to our knees. So we're gonna use a blanket as just like extra pad 
fighting for our knees. So go ahead and make your way down. Take your time to set up. We're going to start with our right leg forward. Also, have a block handy, a block or another blanket or, or uh, even like a pillow or something like that at the front of your mat. We're going to take our right foot forward. Or it doesn't matter, just take one foot forward and then we'll switch and do the other side after that. So make sure when you're setting up your front knees over top of your ankle, you don't want it in front, you don't want it back. You want a long distance between your front heel and your back knee. So maybe lift that back knee up. See if it can go back a little bit further. Okay, let's pause here in this pose for a few breaths. Just feeling this nice stretch. Feeling it a little bit in our hip, hips, the inside of our legs. All right, so from here, we're gonna to come to a lizard pose variation. So take that foot that's up there over to the side further so that both hands can come inside that foot. All right, so option to just stay here. If this is already pretty hard, take that um, pillow or block to give yourself a little bit of height to lift up a little bit higher here. You could also use that block or pillow to go deeper in the stretch. So maybe you start with one forearm, bring it down, go a little bit deeper, see how that feels. Maybe you try to bring both down. So it's just depending on what feels better, if you're more flexible or not. I'm going to do one more deep breath here and then make your way back up. Put the block or blanket to the side. We're going to open up that hip a little bit. So take your foot, bring it out a diagonal coming onto the pinky edge side. Knee's going to bend. You're going to take that hand to that knee. Just open up, stretch it out, whatever feels good. All right, next we're gonna move into a pigeon pose. Well, actually, let's do the other side first, then we'll do pigeon pose. So go ahead and take that foot back. And just stretch it out behind you. Lengthen that leg back, maybe do a hip circle or two. And we will switch sides. So left leg or opposite legs comes forward. Hands on either side of that foot, checking, making sure the foot, the knee's over top of the ankle. See if you can send that back knee back a little bit further. And then just stay here for a few breaths, just noticing maybe how this side feels compared to the other side. All right, so from here, I'm gonna come into that lizard pose. So I'm gonna take my foot, walk it more to the side so that both hands can easily come inside that foot. Maybe I stay here, maybe I need some more height. And I come up on my pillow, block, or blanket to get a little bit higher. Or maybe I use this prop to go a little bit deeper. Bring me one forearm down and then the other. Coming back to your breath. One more deep breath here. And then you're gonna make your way up. Take your time moving the, the block or blanket to the side. We're gonna take that foot out in a diagonal open up the hip a little bit more. Sending that hand to the side, maybe looking over the shoulder. A few deep breaths. Good, and then make your way back through to the center. We're gonna make our way out of the pose. Take your time, maybe stretch that leg out long in the back. 
doing a few hip circles. All right, so next we're gonna stretch out our hips. So I'm gonna give you two options. Uh, one is pigeon pose, which is a little bit deeper hip stretch, but if it's you know too much or the setup doesn't feel good, we'll come to a seated figure four stretch. Right, you can have your blanket kind of next to you to the side because we'll want to use it in our pit. We might want to use it in our pigeon pose. Starting out in our on our hands and knees, taking the right knee behind the right wrist, walk that right foot over to the side, take your back knee back. All right, so you might have a big distance between your hip and the mat, so that's where you want to place that blanket to allow it to relax a little bit. Draw your shoulders back, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna make your way to a resting pigeon, maybe resting on the forearms. Maybe you bring that block or the pillow to rest your head on here. Feeling that stretch in the outside of the hips, a little bit in the glutes. So if this feels like super uncomfortable, because we're gonna hold it for about a minute, um, and you don't wanna do that pose, you wanna do the alternative, what you can do is a seated figure four stretch. So a seated figure four, we're gonna sit back here with your knees bent, and you're gonna take that foot above the knee. All right, so still stretching out the hip area, the glutes, and just um, you know doing that stretch from here. So either option's totally fine, just coming back to your breath. Allowing yourself to just release into the pose. Two to three more breaths. When you make your way out, if you're in the seated figure four, you'll just take your feet out wide, drop both knees side to side. If you're in your pigeon pose, you'll take your time to make your way up, back to your hands and knees. Again, doing those hip circles or stretching the leg out, rolling in the back. All right, good. So once you're done there, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So whichever option worked best for you on the first side, you'll wanna try to do the same thing on the second side. I mean, one side might be a little bit tighter or a little bit more flexible, so just kind of noticing. So you use that blanket under your hip, maybe using it again on this side. Allowing your body to release and relax into the pose. One more deep breath, and then you can slowly make your way out of the pose. So just taking your time to come out, stretching that leg behind you once you're out. Maybe doing a few hip circles. All right, from here we're gonna come to a seat. We're gonna start with a wide, a wide-legged forward fold. So take the feet out wide. You're gonna find your pillow, your bolster blanket, and we're gonna place it in front of us. All right. You might want a combination of those things. Um, I'm gonna kind of place this here so that you can slowly start to come forward and have something to relax 
your head on. So as you start to come forward, you want to make this pose comfortable for you. Feeling that nice stretch inside the legs. As you hold it longer, you'll even feel it a little bit in your knees. So strengthening your knees. Maybe a little bit in the hips or the back. Allowing yourself to release into the pose. Come back to your breath. Two or three more deep breaths here. Slowly make your way up, just kind of pausing here, sitting up nice and straight. And then you can bend your knees, move your pillow and your blanket or block over to the side. Just kind of bend your knees a few times. All right, so from here, we are going to come to a supported twist. All right, so we're gonna to come to lying down on our side. So I want you to find, probably it's gonna be that pillow. It could be the blanket. And we're gonna come on to our side. It doesn't matter which side you start with. And you're gonna place that pillow between your legs. All right, to allow you to relax a little bit deeper. Maybe it's just the blanket. That's fine too. And then, or you could use that blanket as like a pillow for your head. It's just another option. So you're just gonna find comfortable position here, lying down, bringing your knees in front of you. So that other arm, you can bring it out to the side. So take that shoulder, open it up out to the side for a little bit of a twist, if that feels good. So it can come out long or it can just be bent at the elbow up overhead. Is an option. So really starting to relax that twisting, feeling good for your back and your spine. If you want, um, instead of twisting to the side, you can bring that hand in front of you if that feels more comfortable. And just slide here. So just find whatever feels comfortable. This will be um, our second to last pose. And in a yoga class, this could also be an alternative to a Shavasana. Let's do two or three more breaths here. Good, and then we're gonna just make our way to the other side. So you can just kind of roll onto the other side, setting up, so setting up your knees are bent in front of you, head down, place the blanket, the Hello, in between your knees to give them something to relax on. All right, so maybe from here you will open up your arm out to the side. Maybe the arm stays bent overhead, looking up towards the ceiling. Maybe staying here a few breaths, or if that's just, you know, doesn't feel as comfortable for you, you can stay on your side, bringing that hand down.
two or three more breaths here. Slowly start to make your way out of the pose. Moving the pillow to the side. We're gonna make our way all the way up to the seat. So you can just push yourself up to a seat. All right, and we're gonna finish with a seated uh, meditation. So kind of like a seated, a seated Shavasana alternative. So I want you to sit on a prompt. So you can sit on a blanket or on your pillow and have your blocks, if you have blocks to either side or if you just have extra like blankets, have them on either side. We're gonna sit on top of our pillow or blanket to elevate our hips, kind of sitting at the edge. Um, if you can sit up against a wall, that also might be a little bit more comfortable, kind of like how I am. You're gonna bring your feet together and you're going to take those blocks if you have them or just stuff the wrap the blankets around or even a pillow so you can use the pillow if you have two of them and you're going to allow you're going to use it to the side to allow your knees to relax is basically what we're doing right now so i'm going to take my blocks if i can have them at the low level if i'm more flexible but I kind of need to bring them up a, a little bit higher. It's going to feel a little bit more comfortable for me. Maybe press my feet out a little bit more. That way my knees can kind of relax in this pose. Taking a few deep breaths here. If you want, closing your eyes. Allowing your body to really relax and release in this pose. Noticing if you have any tension, where that tension is. Trying to consciously release that tension right now. Relax. Using this time, just this kind of time of mindfulness or meditation for yourself. From here, take a nice deep inhale and in through your nose. Complete exhale out through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. Slowly open up your eyes. You can move your blocks to the side, maybe cross your knees, cross your legs together. Inhale, reach your arms up, drawing the shoulders up and back, staying here for a breath or two. And then we'll place our palms together, bringing them back down to the heart center. Take a moment to feel a sense of gratitude again. Thanking yourself for taking the time out to do something healthy for your body, for your baby, for your mind. And allow the positive energy that you feel from your practice to be a benefit to yourself and the people around you throughout the day. Namaste.